Hello investors, traders, and Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club with your market report for Monday, the 21st of October. In today's report, we're covering Apple, Netflix, Facebook, and Yelp, and much more. So let's get started right away. We're looking at the chart of Apple going back to April of 2012. As you can see, the score is a plus 100, which is a very strong score. But more importantly, let me point out some elements in Apple that we've talked about before, but are worth considering again. First of all, the major sell signal to exit Apple came right here. And we stayed in that negative mode for quite some time and then we turned around here and this is when we gave the signal to all of our members that the trend had changed and it was heading higher. Now the other elements was this double bottom here which is a very strong reversal and a pivot point which gave us our signal to the 550 area which is right around these levels right here. Now the other area is this huge sort of base that this market has made which comes in from right around these levels. Now this is capable of carrying Apple quite a bit higher almost to I would say probably close to the 600 level which is here but this is the important level to look at 61.8 percent retracement which is 581.92 I would have that written down somewhere and stick it on the side of your computer because I think that's where the market's going to head. We have a big conference tomorrow, a big rollout tomorrow of Apple's new products for the fourth quarter. It's going to be pretty exciting and they're looking for a new iPad, possibly a new Apple TV, and possibly even something else which no one knows about right now. So let's clear the screen, go to our next market, and that's going to be Netflix. Netflix is on a tear today. New highs. Remember we were talking for this market going to the 350, 340 area. We've certainly gotten to that area now. We may go a little bit higher. Netflix is going to announce its earnings, but look at where we picked this market up back in December of 2012. So it's had a huge move, huge winner. They've just had their subscriber base go larger than HBO, and I think that's a big feather in Reed Hastings' cap. So it looks like this trend is going to continue on. I can see this market going higher still. So let's move on to our next market. This is Facebook. Again, Facebook made a new high. A little bit negative action today with the uh, negative engulfing line. Let's scope this in just a little bit so you can see that. You can see we've sort of gone higher and we've come lower. I would be a little bit concerned about this market, but nonetheless, it looks as though it could still go a little bit higher. We, we're thinking about the 58 level, maybe 57, 58, even 60 level in the short term, but longer term, I think we'll see this market go much higher also as we have a tremendous number of people who use Facebook. Now on Yelp, uh, Yelp's putting in another good performance. It's a new high. On Friday, we sort of opened higher with a little bit of profit taking coming in there but nonetheless this market looks like it wants to still do better than it's doing right now so I could see this market going up to possibly the $80 range $85 range from where we are right now but the trend is clearly positive and pullbacks should be purchased rather than sold so let's go to next market this is the Dow the Dow is the only laggard in all the indices we track you can see the score is a, a minus 65 indicating a trading range and you can see the weekly is still negative whereas on the other indices it's positive so this it looks as though potentially this market is beginning to make a uh, dare I say a large top which goes back remember this market's been in a bull market since 09 so this is the potential top that this market is building so we'll have to watch that very very carefully and again let's just clear that screen and go to our next market clearly new highs on the Nasdaq plus 100 all the trade triangles are in a positive mode and I think we can see that market still go a little bit higher. Maybe maybe we're getting very close to that area, but maybe a little bit further, maybe up to the uh, 4,000 level. So we'll see maybe the 39.50, 4,000 level. So we'll watch that very carefully. But the trend is clearly positive for the NASDAQ as it is for the S&P 500. Again, you cleared the previous high. Totally different picture from the Dow, which is old school. This is the new school, of course. And then even if you look at the Russell 2000, that also looks very, very positive. Now, it's not to say we can't see pullbacks in this, but our trends are very well set in these markets. And if you just look at our scorecard, you can see everything is green with the exception of the industrials, the Dow. We have two negatives there. And also in the case of crude oil and gold. So let's go on to crude oil. Crude oil, longer term, we still see this positive this market as positive. However, it did see a pullback and a dip below the $100 level. It's currently trading at 99.73. It looks as though it's making a rollover top, but if we scope this out even further, let's just go 
a couple of years and you can see it's coming back to an area of maybe some support so not so terribly negative we want to watch this monthly one but the intermediate trend is negative and the short term trend is negative and that's the important ones to remember when you're trading futures and also in oil so on gold the long term trend there is has been and continues to be negative only the short term the very short term is positive from one 1287, uh, which was a cover your position. Remember, we trade on the weekly and the daily on gold, and it's worked out very, very well for us. The market's gone a little bit overboard, you can see right here. And if we go on to the euro, uh, if you remember, we're very positive on the euro against the dollar. We think it's going to go to the 140 level, uh, and I think the trend is clearly positive with all of our trade triangles in agreements. So let's see what happens in these markets. But remember, the trend is your friend. The trend is clearly up. First, top four markets on the industrials sideways, a little bit, little bit dodgy on that one. And also on crude oil, it looks like the long-term trend is still positive, but the short-term and intermediate-term trend is down. And on gold, it looks like the long and intermediate-term trend is down. So I'm Adam Hewison for Market Club. I'll be back soon. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great trading day. You can find Adam Hewison as a regular contributor on Bloomberg, Business News Network, CNBC, and Fox Business News.